Hey everybody, thanks so much for joining. I just really have a quick video to tell you about my new album that I just released. First of all, subscribe, ring the bell, click all of that stuff below so that you can get my future videos. But I just wanted to kind of give you a heart to heart on what I released, why I released it, where you can find it. All the links will be below um, to some of the platforms. But I have been on this journey of music and it started right after um, God kind of picked me up literally out of the pit and placed me on my feet. He handed me a guitar with my dad's after my dad's passed away and I learned how to play that a bit and it was just a way for me to release what was inside. It was a way for me to release the pain I was feeling. It was a way for me to release just just connecting to God and connecting to what was inside of me and what's been inside of me for so long um, that I haven't let out and that I didn't have words for, but the opportunity to have an instrument gave me the ability to have words. And then from there, <laughs> we got a piano and um, I don't know how I just kind of started playing it. I am I'm in a way like a skilled instrumentalist, but the piano has given me the ability and opportunity to again come out of myself, shut my mind down and just let what my heart has to say say it and and just really have that deep connection with God and and be in that place of peace and to just share with myself, share with God and share with you my journey and my heart's cry and the things that I have been through. And oftentimes we don't get to really know a person. Um, but I feel like if you don't know me and you listen to my music, you will get to know me. And I can't say that the sound on this album is for everybody. Um, but again, it was another step. I had to get over so much fear and that's just really what I wanted to share was this album for me wasn't about having high expectations on anything. It was more about having a victory in something that I have struggled in for so long, which is sharing my music and abilities and skills that seem to me like to be breadcrumbs with whoever wants to listen, if anybody even listens. And the fear was debilitating at times. The self-doubt was and continues to be a struggle that I have to continuously overcome. The songs that came out for this album, I've released some of them on YouTube, so you could just probably click an icon and see the lyrics video to them, but I really wanted to compile them all into one place and put them on every platform because that's what I felt like I was called to do. So whoever, even if it's just one person can listen and hopefully be able to connect to my heart and know that maybe they're not alone in their trials. Um, or just their hard times, or like just give someone the words to what they're feeling so that maybe they can have the ability to sing them out and express them. That for me is a victory. So I called the album when I call because I feel that when I sit down and I sing, I'm calling out. I'm calling out to God. I'm calling out the things inside of me. I'm calling out the doubt and the fear, but I'm also calling out the strength and the courage and the perseverance that I need to continue on the journey that I'm on. And so it can be a flip, you know, it can be when I'm calling God or when I'm calling myself out or when he's calling me, or when someone else is calling me. Every one of these songs, 
you can pertain it to God or you can pertain it to someone in your life that has had such an impact on you when you have been in such a dark place. Or maybe you don't have that person yet and you're calling out for that person. But every single song I produced, um, it is not perfect. Everything has all of its imperfections. And there's a purpose in that. And I think that there's a purpose in all of the music that I'm going to continue to put out that it's not perfect. It's not squeaky clean. It's not polished a thousand percent. And that's really hard when you're an artist. That's really hard when you're a creative to give something away that you feel isn't meeting the expectations that you would like it to, but it has to be put out that way. So I dabbled around in a software and I put it together these songs and every sound is an emotion that I felt. Every beat, there's no drums, but every beat of these sounds that I would find expressed something that was inside of me that I don't have words to express. And so it's not just the piano you lightly hear in the background and it's not just the lyrics but it's these sounds that I have compiled together by just my heart's leading of wanting to connect and stay connected and wanting to connect and stay connected so there's so many layers to the album and I would say that my favorite song is In Your Arms. And I would say that my least favorite song is not is enough. Um, In Your Arms is just simply the place and the space that I want to stay at and always be in. So I was able to have these words to put to that and sounds and moments that expressed that place. Enough <laughs> is a song that has taken me time to love. I say it's my least favorite because I'm still working on loving it because it's a song about no more. Like, I am not going to take fear. I am not going to be weak in the sense of what looks like, you know, not the weakness in which I'm supposed to be in, but weakness as in, you know, trying to be in my own strength and I just fall flat, flat on my face. Like, it's saying I'm making this agreement, I'm making this statement that I'm not going to live in this place of fear anymore. And the moment that I like wrote that song and put it out, I had just like had to deal with all of these different things. And there's so many imperfections in that song. And that's again, something that I'm saying enough to, like it doesn't matter. Like I'm not called to be perfect because I am perfect in just being uniquely me that's where the perfection lies is when i'm uniquely me and so i find it so funny that the one song that is a statement piece is probably the song that has the most imperfections um yeah so you can listen to it for free on spotify um it's on itunes and apple music and I don't know so many more platforms and I will give you links below um, I just want to thank the people in my lives that have supported me and surrounded me and you know they're not flattering me but it doesn't matter if they like the music or they don't like the music they just tell me to do what I'm passionate about and I would say that if you can have those people in your life that it's not about flattery, 
You know, I don't need you to like something, but I would love for you to support me in my passion um, and encourage me to be passionate. I just wanted to share this video because sometimes often, you know, there's just, there's so much noise out there. There's so much music out there. Sometimes I'm listening to stuff and I'm personally wondering like, why are you singing this? Where is this coming from? Was this written by somebody else? Usually I listen to more singer songwriter stuff. So it is coming from the person and it's like, where were you in that space? Tell me, I want to know. So this whole album has been a journey of my mental health struggle, my struggle with just leaving a lot of the religious mindsets that I was believing and just really accepting myself, but also just that deep calling out, crying out to God, cr calling myself out and, and calling out the things that aren't supposed to be there and, you know, and calling other people um, and loving on them, you know, and just again, applying this, the song to my husband, I could apply every song to my husband um, as much as I can to God. So I just want to give God the glory for it. And if you want to listen to it again, it's some of the songs are here. The full album is on all of the links below. Thank you for taking the time to just listen to my heart. And I hope that you can subscribe. I will be posting more music. I'm actually working on the second album. I have most of the songs. I just have to put them into production. Um, and who knows, like I'm in a season of just deep musical creativity, but it's not to create music. It's to release just what I'm going through and what's inside of me, hoping that it will help or connect to someone out there um if i can leave you with anything it's if we can just impact one person with what we have been given then that's a life worth living so have a wonderful day and shine brightly bye